Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here and welcome to another IS Boxer video. In this one, I am going to be talking about the working area in a window layout. Now I did a, a video kind of similar to this where I, I, um, I showed how to create and manipulate uh, monitor layouts, monitor layouts uh, in IS Boxer, both in the window layout wizard and by defining a computer in IS Boxer. So I am going to move through some of this fast and some of this I won't be uh, necessarily explaining in full detail. That video likely covers all of that information and the link for that is in the description. I strongly recommend you watch that one if you don't understand this one. But I felt like I didn't really drive home how working area is used and how it works and where it comes in handy. So this is where this video comes in. Now, one of the examples I gave for why you would want to create a uh, a monitor layout in the prior video was that you either have um, you either have an NVIDIA surround layout with a, a multi-monitor surround or AMD Ifinity layout, right? So that's what we've got right here. I've got, click on use monitors, click the button, come up to the screen, collection editor, and you can see that we've got one gigantic display that is 7680, or we can just look here, 7680 by 1440. So that's three, uh, that's three monitors, and each of those monitors have a resolution of 2560, by 1440. So 2560 plus 2560 plus 2560 is 7680. And this is a, a particular layout that someone may have and may be using. However, when you go to use the window layout wizard, you're going to get crazy stretched out um, regions. And you might think that's kind of cool because each of my regions is going to be like super ultra wide, right? And I'm going to have a fantastic field of view. Um, well, it doesn't really work out that way. I mean, when you look at like screenshots of, of um, surround um, configurations and whatnot, in-game screenshots, uh, it looks really cool, right? You can see so much of the world and whatnot, but unfortunately, one thing that kind of takes you out of that um, immersion, for me at least, are the bezels on the monitors, right? So a layout like this, the bezels for the monitors are going to be right here and right here. And this is right through the middle of your main region where your character is going to be. And unless you like a really hardcore mode, I generally wouldn't want my bezels blocking my character, right? So this right here is just not going to work out. So what we can do is you can, you can go back to the other video and you can create a multi-monitor layout and then um, configure your... Um, window layout in that sense, or if you just want to maybe use one of your uh, monitors instead of all three, you can come into here, and you play with the working area. Now, I said that each monitor was 2560 by 1440. So we're going to change this to 2560. Now the height, the height is adjusted, for me at least. There's, there's a difference between the bounds this height is 1440 and this height is 1400. Now that's just, uh, for my particular setup, it's a 40 pixel um, offset for leaving space for the, the taskbar at the bottom. So the taskbar down here is 40 pixels uh, for my Windows 10 install and for all my scaling, the way that I've got everything set up. Yours may be a little bit different, but we're generally, we're pretty much just gonna be working with the working area here. So I'm gonna set this to 1440 just to show what happens. We, we hit okay. And then I can cycle through. Um, some of these are going to be still wide and not looking great, but um, some of them are going to look like this, right? And this is much more manageable. This is what would fit on a uh, single display in the case of someone with multiple monitors but was using uh, surround or iFinity. Now, unfortunately, this is forced all the way against the left monitor. And I'm assuming, assuming you would probably want this layout to be in your center monitor. So we come back into the screen editor here, go back into the working area, and we're going to change the Y. So we want to move this over to the center monitor. So we need to move it over 2,560 pixels in the case of this particular layout, right? So we hit OK again. And now, nah, did I change the wrong value? <laughs> oh, it wasn't the Y. Oh, geez, Mirai. Talk about a... We're changing the X because we're moving left and right. The X is left and right and the Y is up and down. I know some people were looking at that like, nah, uh, uh that's the wrong value. So now we change the X and now it's centered 
in the middle like that. So there's a mistake for you, and that's how to correct the mistake. That's what happens when you type in uh, the right number in the wrong field. But this is what we've got. Now, again, if you wanted, to, if you if you still had that taskbar at the bottom, if you weren't hiding it and you wanted it visible, this is uh, it might not work out. Depending on the OS, depending on your setup, the taskbar may be difficult to play with, and it may actually sit on top of your Windows, which kind of sucks. So you can come back in here, and again, in my case, my offset was 40 pixels. So I'm going to go back to using a height of 1400. I'm going to refresh everything, and now I've got this gap at the bottom, which is going to um, allow me to see my taskbar. And again, this is centered, and all, of course, if we wanted this on the far right monitor, we go back into the working area, we change the X to be 5120, because we're pushing it over two monitors, and each monitor, again, is 2560. So 2560 and 2560 is 5120. We're pushing it over 5120 pixels, and now everything is going to be on the far right. Right? Right. So that's working area. That's one, this is one way you do it. Uh, if you had an ultra, uh, a surround or affinity layout. Now another example, let's, let me change, let me do some, uh, some changing here. Again, I'm moving kind of fast and not really explaining this, but it's all explained in the other video. That is not the right height. Okay, so we're gonna go 0, 3840 and 2120, okay. So now I've got a 4K display, that's what this is, right? And if you've upgraded to a 4K display and now you realize that your GPU can't handle your multiboxing configuration anymore, because this is a pretty beefy resolution, even though you know, you're running a region that isn't necessarily the full 4K resolution, this is still a very big resolution. It still eats up a lot of GPU. You know, not to mention there's additional regions, uh, additional game clients that are going to be running at this very large resolution, right? So one thing that you can do is use this working area again I can get down here. And let's say we want to set, um, so maybe you want to experiment, you want to drop the resolution down on the working area here. Uh, we'll just go with 2560 by 1440. And what that's going to do is again, for this second set of, uh, so you get to see the big one and then you can see the smaller version. So this portion, this corner that it's eating up is only 2560 wide by 1440 uh, tall. So you could, you know, without having to calculate all of the aspect ratios and resolutions on your own, you can just use Ice Boxer to, and, and put in these values to get this in the corner. Now this isn't necessarily ideal, but until you get a GPU upgrade or something in the future, um, you know, you could drop your resolutions like this and just use a portion of your, your big 4K screen to do that. And of course, if that's too small, the next step would probably be a 2880 by 1620 is the next step up for 16 by 9 resolutions. So something like that, right? But that's how working area works. If you've got any further questions, comments, or concerns about Iceboxer or the working area in your window layout, please visit the Iceboxer forum or the live chat. Thank you for watching. Mirai out.